Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are just tuning in, thanks for watching. I have a John Deere self-propelled push mower. I'm going to replace an igniter. I've already checked the coil. The coil is giving me the right ohms. So the only other thing it could be is this part right here. It's an igniter. The one that I'm replacing is this one right here. It's behind this plate. So I'm gonna take that plate, drop it down, and go ahead and replace the one that's on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this bolt and this bolt here and those are 10 millimeter bolts. And once that second bolt is removed it will fall off of there. So be careful. You got a couple of linkages as well. Now I'm going to remove this spring right here. I'll let it hang. So I'm going to unhook the wires right here. One looks like it has a two wire setup which it's got a ground on one of them i'm going to go ahead and take this 5 16 socket i want to take this bolt right here out and get rid of our throttle cable i'm going to pull it out just unhook it get it out of the way i'm going to just pull this around and i have a spring right back here I can actually unhook the spring because I got to get in there to get that loose. Now you can go ahead and twist it up like this. There you go. But now this here is going to come off. That goes to your carburetor so you'll have to get that back on there. So now I can go ahead and take this off. I'm just going to take a screwdriver and take this out. And get rid of it. We'll go ahead and take the new one. Put it back on there exactly how that one came off. Okay, I got it tightened down on there really good. Now I got to turn this back around. I got to put this spring here back on and I got to put this linkage back on there. Looks like I'm going to have to take all this off just to get that carburetor linkage back on there. First thing I'm going to do is take all four of these bolts around here off. They are 10 millimeter and remove this top piece. Be careful because each one of these has a washer in place. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the gas line. I'm going to remove the old dipstick, the air filter. Now I need to remove this big bolt on the inside of here so all this will come off to release this. It's going to take a three quarter inch socket. Put it right down in there. You got these little spacers right here. Don't lose these spacers. Gas line. It's hooked up down here to the bottom. Just pull it out. Whole thing comes off. Just like that. Put my old dipstick back in there. Now I have access to the carburetor. Here's the carburetor, and right there, if I can get a little closer, right there is where the linkage goes in. See the hole right there? The end of the screwdriver. Now make sure your linkage is up above everything here before you stick it through there or else you have to take it right back apart. Twist this piece over here so that that will go in there and then turn it back and it should slide right in and there we go. Now go ahead and hook your springs up and I remove these to keep them from getting stretched out of shape. This one, as you can see, goes from here to here. This one will go from here to here. And now I'll go ahead and I'll hold it up here. And I'll mount the two bolts here and here. Now those were 10 millimeter. Now this is 5 16 and I'm going to go ahead and hook the throttle cable up. 
All you got to do is take it, turn it right through here like this, then come back here, put it in, look at where your throttle's at, and mine's all the way down, so I'm going to latch it down right there. Don't forget your spacers. Now I'll hook up the fuel line. Make sure the fuel line gets connected here, and there's a little clip back here that the fuel line also gets uh, clipped into. Now I made this, comes in pretty handy. What I do is I clip one piece to the spark plug, take the other end and I'll clip it to like something metal like, let's clip it to the carburetor and see if that works. Okay, watch right here. Let's see if we're getting fire. There it is. That's all it was, was the igniter. I'm hoping that you can see that fire. Let me get you a little bit closer. So you can actually see the fire. Now it should start. Now what I'm going to do is take this cover off and take the air breather out. I'm going to go ahead and put the spark plug back in. I'm going to take and spray some gas down in the carburetor. Just see if it'll start. So all was wrong with it. I'm not going to put no gas in it because right now I'm not going to run it. I still got the gas turned off, but I do know that it'll run. Now we know that the igniter was the issue, not the coil. So like always, like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. Thanks for watching.